Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this segment of the video, I am going to show you how to introduce text box and image widget in Power BI service. Now in our previous video in Power BI desktop, we have already seen how to introduce text box, how to introduce shapes and how to introduce image out there. Now this is the similar way in the Power BI service as well. But out here we will have a bunch of other options. If you see, if you click on add widget, you can see these options out there. So it is similar what we see in Power BI desktop. The only difference out here is the interaction or the way it is shown out here. So let's go ahead and see how to add image widgets in our practical approach hello friends and welcome in this part of the video I'm going to show you how to add image and text box widget in Power BI service alright so in order to do that I need to go to the dashboards and under the dashboard when you see all these three dashboards just above it you can see there are so many options out here we will go ahead and click on this plus button. So the moment I click on this add tile, it is giving me an option whether what media would like to add. Do you like to add a web content or an image or a text box or a video? Let's start off with the text box. So I will simply select this text box and I'll hit on the next button. The moment I hit on the next button, it is asking for the details. What is the text that you want to enter? Add text box should definitely have a title and a subtitle so I will select select this checkbox and I'll start typing that this is basically showing me revenue all right this is revenue and uh, the subtitle should be across different region different region different manufacturers and uh, across years all right, so I have these three dashboards which uh, which I want to configure. Uh, that's right, and this will be the text box in which I will display the content that what this three dashboards is talking about. Now, out here, if I want to fill the details that what should we really talk about, though, so I have to simply select this uh, dialog box where I will be sharing the detail of it, like exactly what we are going to see out here. So I will type the text that this is a uh, revenue report all right and we can add more text to it as well depending on what you want to show now out here i can do the basic formatting that if i want to increase the size of my text i can do it from here if i want to uh, change it to different font i can simply select it from here making it a little bolder right making it a little bolder right so it makes the my text a little bolder right and now let's go ahead and apply now there's something called as custom link as well that shows that this dashboard has been uh, configured with the report files and it has been interlinked and interconnected to each other all right so this is what the custom links talks about now we have introduced the text box style simply I click on apply the moment I click on apply you can see a text box is being uh, seen out here it's which is revenue across different region manufacturer and this is basically my revenue report so this is how you can add a tile to your dashboard if you're not happy with it you can simply click on this three dots and you can delete this tile as well all right guys so this is how you can add a text box in similar way if I want to add an image I will click on this plus add uh, plus add tile button and I'll simply click on image so automatically it is asking me what to do next if you want to give an image a, a title and a subtitle it's your wish right and out here you can see that I can get this image from an URL as well so if I want to select select a custom link say a link to a dashboard or report in the current workspace so I will take the link of that particular image and just paste it out here and I'll get the uh, image which I want to alright so this is how you can add images and it is quite simple guys in uh, Power BI services as well okay now this is how you can add images and add text box now let me show you what are the different options that I see under the dashboards and now under this dashboard I have seen something as view related set as featured now what set as featured will do it will be a featured da dashboard in such a way that everybody can see this particular dashboard and it will be highlighted in your dashboards as well okay so this is what the set as featured feature will do favorite will mark your particular dashboard as favorite this is the same way that we do in the 
the Internet Explorer or Google Chrome we set as something as favorite so it will set this particular dashboard as favorite and it can be seen out here as your favorite link also you can share this particular dashboard with uh, one of any of your colleague or your client or your boss by simply clicking on this button or we can definitely view this in a web view if I click on this drop-down menu I also have a phone view out here so when you switch it to phone tiles on this dashboard will appear in the customized view on all the phone all right so I'll simply can connect so and this is what a phone uh, dashboard will look like so it gives you an idea that how my dashboard will look on my phone as well all right so I will say go under the this drop menu and get me in the web view the way it was uh, shown before also there you can see there are three dots out here in which I have the dashboard theme if you want to change the dashboard theme you can simply click on it whether you want to duplicate the dashboard now duplicating dashboard is similar to duplicating pages in Power BI desktop we learned why should we duplicate and what is the purpose of this duplication also you can see there are some more option that is print dashboard if I want to print this dashboard on a piece of paper and share it with people I can do that as well and refresh dashboard tiles means if I make any kind of changes in the data set the dashboard also needs to be refreshed so that time I will use this option refresh dashboard tiles and it will automatically update we'll be also seeing what is the performance inspector and the setting tabs in the later part of our video all right guys so this was all about it about how to add text box and image tile in power bi service hopefully you guys like this video see you until next time